wants to push so badly. Ooh, Anna Chris. She get a dragon fruit too. Turn to the right. Other way. To the right. Come on. You don't want to bump into someone. No. Okay, I did not know that Whole Foods carried um, Alafia's soap. Um, super dope. They have a little sale going on. Yet, either way, these smell amazing, guys. They smell just divine. And you have the little baggies for them. We picked up two so far. I'm about to get another one. Oh my goodness, I didn't even see the lavender. Ugh. It's called good soap, but it smells so good, too. Okay. So, we got three of them. Um, I need to look their company up. That's super dope. Okay. Oh, what's up, y'all? How you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful and great day. Or evening because it's nighttime now here. It's literally about uh, 9.30. No? Yeah, it's about 9.38. Um, and I'm tired, okay? But I'm getting ready to unpack everything that we got from Whole Foods. So let me show you, and I do want a preference, um, cause I don't normally do our grocery hauls yet. I'm excited about this one cause we spent $145. That's a lot. Okay. In regards to our monthly budget, um, it's not the whole budget, but I'm saying it's a lot at one store. Yeah. Especially a store like Whole Foods. Yet we have quite a bit of stuff here. Okay. Like. And normally $148 wouldn't get as much or $145 wouldn't get as much in my mind. But instead of ordering off Amazon or through Amazon Prime, we went inside. So we had, there, there's extra discounts. We brought our bags. We took our bags in. So there's extra discounts for that as well. And yeah, you'll be surprised how many stuff you find that are extra discounted for Prime members when you go in the store. I don't shop for Whole Foods that often online. So some of y'all probably already know that. Like, Allison, girl, you can do that online too. Yet, uh, we saved on a delivery fee. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was also nice to get out. I mean, this was one of our days to get out of the house. I wasn't doing DoorDash today. We we're just going to focus on what we needed, I need the meal prep, and I really wanna to get to this ad, okay? Y'all see it's all pinned back and everything. So, it's quite a few things to do this week, and I'm also getting ready to post my pre-sales for Thanksgiving, which is something I normally don't get too into. Um, but this year I said, you know what? Let me make two pre-sale items. Usually I'll just do maybe one, along with my regular orders, but, I think this is going to be good. So if you're following me on Instagram at tubs of love 23, then you will see those as well. And I may actually post a video here. So as a short, but okay, we'll see. But let's get into this and a bag because to not make this long, the first bag, I got some salted, um, organic salted caramel sauce, which this is actually for one of my pre-sale items. Um, a whole bushel of organic parsley okay that's going to be great for smoothies as well as um i may throw a little bit of my juicing but there's a pasta dish that i wanted to make as well but we're gonna see we're gonna see got some crunchy greens here which is basically um lettuce okay green leaf lettuce got some white mushrooms okay as well as the regular portobello uh Baked bellas. Okay, not portobello. Y'all know those are big ones. Y'all know what season it is. Got that dairy free pumpkin spice cooler. Now, I did see the pumpkin spice um, coffee mixed uh, cold brew with the, with the pumpkin spice flavor in it. But that was like five hours more. And I'm not even drinking coffee that much. Honestly, um, I drink coffee maybe one to two times a week. Now, after that detox, y'all, whoo, there's some things that I've been noticing about my body. Some good things, okay? Got that extra firm tofu. Only got one this time. Last time I bought two and I turned it all into bacon. Now for the second bag. Got four bags here, y'all. Got some of these daring plant-based chicken wings. Now, this shopping trip, I got a lot more plant-based vegan 
prepared items, okay? Because, like I said, I'm getting ready to go into some busy weeks. And I am going to prep some meats out as well. But y'all know how it is being vegan, okay? You need some things around that you can just grab and microwave, and grab and throw in the oven, grab and throw in the air fryer, grab and throw in the skillet, okay? So along with prepping, okay, we got that. Um, finally got some vegan mayo. Vegan mayo. Got the mayo, okay? Follow your heart. I usually get their follow your heart cheese as well, which you can find follow your heart, I want to say at Walmart as well as... Uh, Lidl or Aldi, one of them. I believe it's Walmart. Two bags of carrots, okay, for pre prepping. Some juices, and I think I'm gonna make them hot dogs again. Only thing is, I'm gonna have to buy buns, and I really don't want to be adding on the extra bread. Some gold beets here. <laughs> Two little parsnips. Baby girl saw these, because you know she be shopping with me, and she was like, oh, these, these are nice, look at these carrots, and blah, 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 and I'm like, those, those are parsnips, which parsnips are good as chips, so I'm actually glad we got those. I actually may put them in a slicer. Either I'm going to throw them in a the juicer or I'm going to throw them in for um some chips and make some homemade chips. Uh, I love juicing. You love juicing? Yeah. Me too, baby. Three. Kiwi. <laughs> These were uh, five for five dollars, so a dollar for a kiwi. I still think it was a good deal. And most of this stuff is organic one large cucumber um they call it a cutting cucumber i mean all cucumbers you can cut i don't know why they have it labeled that way but you know two sweet onions for my meats okay our vegan meat patties that we're gonna make uh patties are ground meat y'all know that recipe i posted i'll try to link it into this video as well so you can know what i'm talking about stuff that i mentioned I don't want this video to be long. Okay, back number three. Okay, some spring mix. Y'all know I got the, the lettuce over here. Okay, the green leaf lettuce, so I definitely wanna uh, make a couple salads. Actually, you know what? I think I want a salad tonight. I'm just, I've been, sometimes I get a craving for salad. Oh, and I love that, I love that. I love that I get cravings for salad, because that don't always happen. Ooh, what's in here? Finally. Finally, finally, lion's mane. Uh, mm, this one thing alone was $10. But for what I'm noticing, I mean, it looks so beautiful. And I, y'all know I've been watching so many videos on how to prepare it. And I had just been waiting. I've been wanting to do this. So this may be a weekend meal item. Is this, cause you know, lion's mane has been shown to really be about steak. Okay, like really making it into a steak steak, okay? So, got some field to roast, um, little corn doggies, which um, I actually thought about just waiting to buy some from Aldi's, but sometimes they have them, sometimes they don't. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get them since they're here. Price, the price range is about maybe 50 cents different, so whatever. Got that Via Life Kobe Jack shredded cheese. This cheese is actually really good as well. There's a I used to like pretty much all the vegan cheeses. But there was one I want to say. It's hard to remember because, like I said, I, I tried not to buy them and I still have um, the vegan cheese sauce that I made. Got some more egg roll wraps. <laughs> I bought a pack the other day from Walmart. We made up so many egg rolls. I think there's maybe four wraps left in that pack. Um, two large grapefruits. And what we have put in those egg rolls were... Um, the broccoli slaw and a little bit of soy sauce and then the vegan shredded cheese. And then I made some this morning before we left after my workout and everything. I had them baking and I put the broccoli slaw because I still have quite a bit of that left. I don't want it to go bad. And some of my vegan cheese sauce and they were so good. And I drizzled them with that sweet uh, mango habanero um, wing sauce. Oh my goodness, the one from Sweet Baby Ray's, oh, yes. Um, Gardein's turkey cutlets, okay. I may actually save them for Thanksgiving or the day of giving thanks. Mm -hmm. We shall see. We shall see. Obviously, you know, we don't want to be all about, you know, the processed foods and everything. And this is not a sponsored video. Okay. Not at all. Some of this stuff is things that I have been wanting to buy for a long time. Some of this stuff like Jack and Andy's nuggets 
have been referrals. My girl Melanie um, told me about these. They're made from jackfruit. Um, so what what is good for me and my family may not be the best for you and yours, and that's okay. Um, but if you are looking for some quick items, hey, you know, wait to get this stuff when it's on sale, okay? You know I'm all about a good sale, okay? Crab cakes, plant, plant crab cakes, okay? And another thing that I was also trying to get to is when I buy items like um, like these Beyond Sausages and, you know, uh, corns, uh, turkey roast, which that's definitely going to be for Thanksgiving, okay, which is like two weeks away. Um, it's just, and <laughs> look, buffalo wings, okay, in the plant-based wings and the buffalo sauce. I don't know why when I looked at these, I thought they were actually barbecue buffalo wings. Why did I think that? But it's okay. They feel small, but it feels, there's so many in here. And again, my appetite is not as huge. Back to the point that I was making. OMG. Um, I like buying things like these that are processed because then it gives me more creativity and different ideas when I'm just like, oh, I could turn these or these, you know, into what I saw, you know, and what I tasted. It'll, give, it'll help give me that flavor and the texture of what to go for, okay? And of course, all the recipes. Y'all know I love cooking and experimenting all the different things. Got some blueberry waffles for baby girl. There's only six in here, but that's okay because she only eats one at a time. Process waffles, they still got sugar in them. Um, yes. Six grams of sugar and five grams of added sugar. That's like a treat, okay? Honestly, those are like treats. Those waffles will last, so that's a whole month. And last but not least, some coconut cream and almond milk, okay? So it's dairy-free, it's unsweetened, but it's a creamer. So I'm hoping to make a sauce out of this. I was looking for the vegan heavy cream, okay? I didn't see it, so I got this. You know, we can add some starch if we need to to it or you know just let it cook up a little bit more either way that's it y'all please don't forget to take your bags in because when you take your bags in you get an extra 10 cents off per bag uh, but that's not it. that's it that's all i have i really hope that you have been encouraged by this video i hope that maybe it's going to help you find some um quick things that you can get let me know if any of these things that you saw, even by the brand, Good Catch, I don't go into Whole Foods that often. Literally, if we when we shop at Whole Foods, I want to say it's once a month or every six weeks. When I'm like, you know what, I want to get, there's some things I want to get from Whole Foods. Quite a few of these fresh garden things we could have got mm -hmm. from the farmer's market. But honestly, I just wanted to keep the driving time down mm -hmm. today, okay? Um... Yeah, I just really wanted to keep it down, but I'm happy and grateful. And I still got some more shopping to do tomorrow. And since it's what our small group day, um, I don't go clean houses tomorrow. Um, I usually do, but it's honestly every other week. So I'm going to use some time to get what we need, the rest of the items that we need for our house, and maybe do some door dashing. So if you're in Atlanta and I come by your house and you recognize me, if you ain't peeping through the peephole or whatever. Say hey. I mean, I'm not. I'm no celebrity. I'm not trying to be. I'm just. I'm really being facetious. But honestly, some people are like, oh my goodness, I recognize you. But who who recognizes me? Huh? Uh, you know. But don't be a creeper. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> but thank you again so much for watching, y'all. Uh, I'm so happy to be at a thousand subscribers. Please, if you watch this video and it's your first time, subscribe. Okay, turn on the bell. Send some love, send some words of encouragement. Let me know what's going on in your life. And if you've been here before and you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, subscribe, please do so. It helps, it helps and it's free. It's free for you and me. I mean, that's it. Much, much love, peace and many blessings.
these are a few items um, that I just wanted to point out as well. For this shopping trip, we got two bags of unsalted seeds. Try to get as much unsalted item as you can and keep it as whole and raw as possible. Um, sometimes it's just hard to keep salt, you know. Um, but hey, you know, sometimes it just is what it is. And we eat so many daggone corn tortillas, you know. I'm trying to stay away from corn. Let me look it up, see about, see about it for yourself. Yeah, we love our corn tortillas, you know, trying to keep that gluten down, trying to keep all that extra yeast down, um, and extra unneeded carbs, but we're gonna, you know, put our hands into making our own. See how this turns out. Pray for us. <laughs>